Yeah. So I was talking about Osu Castle. Uh, that we can see from here. It used to be the seat of government um, for the British and later when we had independence, our president also was then working from that castle. It participated in the slave trade. Uh, when it got to Osu, there was a certain area called Danish Osu. Why Danish Osu? At that time, the merchants, the Danish merchants were living at a certain area. So they named that area after the people who were living there. So when they bring their slaves, they are like the intermediary. Then they would take their slaves, buy them, and they also send them to the uh, uh, castle and then sell them. So that place became Danish Osu. Uh, if you will pass there, I'll show you some of their houses that they were living in. Wherever you travel in the world and you come across those monuments on top of it with a soldier, it's known as the unknown soldier. The unknown soldier. This shows that when you see this monument at any country, meaning that that country participated in the Second World War. After the Second World War, there were a certain soldiers that don't know where they came from. So any company that is living, go with them. Hence the unknown soldier. Two, during the Second World War, all the West African protracted countries were trained during the Second World War, were trained in Ghana. At that time, it was known as Gold Coast. They were known as West African Frontier Force. Currently, we don't have a West African Frontier Force, but some of the senior officers of the military, of the soldiers in West Africa, are also being trained in Ghana. At a place that was set up and named after the former UN Secretary General, Kofi Annan Training Center. Where we are standing now is Independence Square or the Black Star Square. Can you also face East Wars or South Wars? The days that you see the monument straight ahead of us has been codenamed or nicknamed Fatia's handbag. Who is Fatia? Fatia was the wife of our from a uh, first president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. And this lady has a certain handbag, special handbag like this, that she goes out with during Independence Day and special occasion. She puts her hand up there and she holds it. So they name it Fatia's handbag. It's a presidential days. And this is the second largest square in the world. The first one is the Tiananmen Square of China. We celebrate our Independence Day here and in other parts of the regions. Remember I said we have 16 regions. Soldiers, security services, and other party organs, political party organs, comes here to march during that time. And our Independence Day is on 6th of March. Every 6th of March, this thing goes on here. We had independence on 6th of March 1957, and we became a republic on 1st July uh, 1960. Why republic? Meaning that everything was handed over to Ghana by the British on uh, 1st July 1960. When you look at South Africa, let me give South Africa for example, they fought hard for independence, and they had independence. But at the end of the independence, what next? They went to sleep. <coughs> Currently, when you go to South Africa, all their businesses, big, big businesses, are being handled, uh, uh, handled by the whites. Kwame Nkrumah did not let it bear, but he continued fighting until we became fully economic empowered. 
meaning that all the other businesses are in the hands of Ghanaians. That is where we, we, we became republic. That is on 1st July 1960. Currently, every 1st July is a national holiday in Ghana. Every 1st July is a national holiday. During the Independence Day, what you see here, the Sinotan, thus is a perpetual fire or perpetual frame. There's a gas tube that the president, that the, that the president will come and then light the fire. When we go to W, um, not W. Du Bois, uh, when we go to Joe Padmo, we will see similar thing. It's when the fire comes up, meaning that the enthusiasm, the power, the strength, those who fought for us, that they, 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 they really lost their lives. The fire is burning, reminding us that we should continue to achieve our aim, not to leave it burn. If Kwame Nkrumah, after we had independence, would have stopped fighting or uh, struggling hard for us to get uh, 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 fully emancipate, emancipated, it would have been a big problem for us. Emancipation is very good. It's very good because it leaves you halfway dead. But if you are fully, that is why Marcus Gavi said uh, we should emancipate ourselves. And then uh, uh, Bob Marley also sang a song about that, from mental slavery. So we ask ourselves, mental slavery is still still going on, or it has stopped? I would leave that question for us to dilate on it. So now we can go around and then take pictures. Uh, we'll give ourselves just about um, five minutes to take pictures, and we'll leave. Can I go? Can I go over Thank there? You. I have to take a picture. I oh yes, absolutely. Yes. Video. And now I'm here. I have to go over there. Oh, just uh, watch out for the vehicles. Yes. Okay. Just cross the street. Yes. Hey. Does she know where she's going? Who? You can deal with Black Jesus over there. Oh, that's Black, oh, that's oh, that's Black Jesus? Yeah, he's talking about oh, Black oh, Brotherhood. Oh he's, a, oh, he's a prophet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm down with that. <laughs> Yes, the, when, when the, the we colors match. You got to talk about this place. You go. But I mean, it's easy to cross over. It's not. It looked like it went down into a thing. We got the colors going on, family. The green Africa for African shirt. And this is just a beautiful presentation here. Uh, you cannot come to Ghana without seeing this. It's one of the most popular sites. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's a free, featured part of our tour book, which is the cover. And everything is red, black, green, and gold. Because, because at that time, um, Ghana, the Kukus, the unknown was soldier, the first African country that has come out of Kuliana's. And it's the first south of the Sahara to get the Let me tell you something. that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You yeah. see that your eyes are open. I got you right now. Why can't you come to teach us for us to talk from you? You understand? They don't have a... They don't They have training over there, everything. You have been trained as soldiers over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And then everybody look at Dr. Kwame Koma as a... Uh, 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 mentor as the senior figure as everything. So, oh, it's an honor to come and train. Exactly. Okay, so, see. if Kwame Nkoma is your head and is able to get you out of slavery, and then currently you are, uh, 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 what do you call? You have independence. So, why can't we come to you to teach us what you went through, so that we can also go through? Kwame Nkoma was then helping a lot of countries for them also to gain independence, like Guinea, and then uh, like, uh, 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 what do you call, Mali and other countries. So Mali, Guinea, and uh, uh, Ghana were having very strong 
tiles. United. United. And even they wanted us to have a, 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 a soldier. That means a military team. Together? For, yes, together. Ghana, Guinea, Mali. So when you attack Mali, you have attacked Ghana. When you attack Guinea, you have attacked Ghana. So we can also come and attack you. But uh, the, 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 the uh, what do you call, uh, other people saw that it was a threat oh, yeah, that to them. <laughs> you know those people that I mentioned it. I do. It was a threat to them. So they have to find a way of uh, disintegrating them. Yes, I'm on, yes, I'm on. Wow. Yeah. Yes, family, a wealth yes. of knowledge. Uh, the journey continues. And we're once again, family, here. Oh. Still in Ghana at Black Star Square or Independence Square. Okay, please, if you are done, let's